So in this video, I'm going to talk you through how to prepare uh, a good quality microscope image with a scale bar on it, with a labelled scale bar, which is one of the things you're going to need to do for your assignment. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm working in PowerPoint. You can do it in Google's, uh, Google Slides as well. I'm just doing this one in PowerPoint. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to introduce two pictures, um, one of which should be a picture of your biological specimen, so in this case it's your chloroplasts, and the other is one of the stage graticules. So those are two images so I'm just going to bring those into PowerPoint, that were uh, taken at the same magnification. So they both use the same magnification lens uh, on the microscope. So these were both taken with a times 40 objective lens. Okay, so remembering that the eyepiece lens also has uh, times 10 uh, magnification in it, we're looking at times 400 magnification in total. So you can see the chloroplasts in my image, and these are pretty mucky images. Uh, this microscope should have been cleaned before someone took these images, uh, but it will still be good enough for me to show you what you need to do. Now, a really important thing is that these images were both taken at the same magnification. So at the moment, I know that those two images uh, should be directly comparable to each other. So the distances on the right-hand image should be the same as the distances on the left-hand image. What's really important when you're doing this is to, uh, you've got to treat the two images the same, okay? So if you want to resize them, uh, then you need to clip both of them together and resize them together so that the relationship holds, okay? Whereas if you do it of you just pick one of them and you resize this one, Suddenly we've broken the relationship. I've no idea how big things are on this image because uh, they're now uh, sized differently uh, so that yeah, the relationship has broken down. Okay, so if you're going to uh, resize anything, uh, just get that back to its original size, you need to grab both images together and scale them both together. Okay, it's okay to crop. Cropping is fine. Cropping doesn't change the relationship because crop just um, gets rid of like stuff on the side. So I can crop this image. Uh, so let's just do that because uh, it's a little bit big and it's a bit fuzzy on this right hand side so let's maybe crop that in a bit uh, so a slightly more focused image like that okay so that looks good cropping isn't changing the relationship between the sizes it's just making it's just cutting off the edges it's the scaling it's doing this um, that's the problem okay so let's just uh, get that back to its size Okay, so what have I got? So on the left-hand side, I've obviously got my biological extract, which is my chloroplast. On the right-hand side, I've got the scale bar. So just to remind you of what those scale bars are. So these that was the stage scale that we put on the microscope, which is divided up like this. So the stage scale uh, has a maximum. That maximum it reads is 100, but we know that that's actually 1 millimeter, which is 1,000 micrometers. And we're obviously looking at this left-hand end of it. So we've got 0, 10, 20. We're looking at this end of the, uh, the stage scale. So what do I need to do? So what do I need to do is to first of all draw a line, okay? So I'll just pick a general line, okay? And then I'm gonna draw that onto my uh, stage scale, okay? So I'm gonna draw that between naught and 10. Uh, and I'm gonna make it quite a bit thicker, so you want quite a chunky uh, scale bar. And we usually do scale bars in either black or white. We don't have, tend to have them in multicolored, okay? So I've drawn that line on there. So that line is between 0 and 10 on the stage scale. So I know that that line is actually 100 micrometers. Okay, because uh, I know that the maximum is 1,000, um, so uh, 10 will be 100 micrometers. So now because those images have been uh, maintained their scaling properly, I can copy that. And if I do absolutely nothing to it, I just move it onto the other image. Okay. As long as I've kept everything the same, as long as I've not changed any of the ratios, then that will be the distance that I know what it is. So I can now put a label on that so I know that that is 100 micrometers. Uh, and you do need to put the correct um, symbol in there. So if you go to insert symbol, so it's not a normal U, um, it's the micro U. Uh, so I can just search for micro uh, and then it should come up. Uh, as that symbol there, so it's a, it's a mu with a little tail on it, so you need to put the micro in. Okay, so it's not just a regular uh, u, it's a micro, so I can get rid of that. And then it's m, lowercase, okay, lowercase for distances. Um, and then you want to kind of have the label in proportion to the scale bar, so I'm just going to increase that uh, and put it in like that. Okay, so uh, and if you really want to be picky about it, I'm going to arrange... 
uh, and just centre those so that I know that the 100 is nicely professionally in the middle. Okay. So as long as I've kept both images exactly the same, then that should be an accurate scale bar there. And if I look at the distances on there, if I think that's 100, how big are each of my chloroplasts? I could probably get 20 chloroplasts along there or so. Uh, so that would make each chloroplast about 5 micrometers, and that's what we know how, how big chloroplasts are. Okay, So that suggests that I've got it right. Okay. The other thing that I need to do is to put the total magnification in the top right-hand corner. So, as I say, this was taken with a times 400 uh, objective lens, um, sorry, the times 40 objective lens, and then we've got times 10 in the eyepiece as well, so the total magnification is 400, and that's my image. So I can now delete that, delete that, delete that, that was just for reference. So that is my image. Okay, so again, if you're moving things around, make sure you've picked up everything. Okay, so if I, for example, just move the image now and I made the image a bit bigger, but I don't do the scale bar now, my scale bar's wrong. Okay, so if I want to rescale it, if I want to resize it, select all of it and resize it all together. Okay, so uh, but try and avoid resizing it too much because uh, you're more likely to make a mistake. So that's then your presentation quality image. You then need to put underneath it, you need figure figure one in that case and you need a title uh, and you need a, and a caption to describe the image um, so look at uh, the instructions that I've given you or how those uh, how microscopy images are presented in papers but that's how we go from our two raw images to a presentation quality image so notice that the photograph of the scale bar does not appear we've got rid of it we used it it was really important but it should not appear in your final assignment or a final paper or final write-up um, the scale bar is just to help you draw the image um, the, sorry, the image of the, the picture of the scale is just how you draw the image. Once you've drawn this scale bar and put it onto your biological specimen, you can then get rid of your other image. So you have one image that's professionally formatted at the end of it.